Recently, I had some free time, something that I usually don't have any of. So I decided to fill that time by visualizing my fragrance collection. I thought this would be a good use of my time because, hell, why wouldn't it be? And I wanted to see exactly how fervently I'd scratch my consumptive itch. My fragrance collection, sorry, wear action, because I wear my fragrances, is almost always hidden from view. I, I don't have a cabinet where I display them behind me or anything like that. And they're in various wardrobes and filing cabinets and closets away from sight. And most of them are in their boxes away from light. Now, there's two reasons for this. One is because keeping my fragrances away from light and away from places with huge temperature and humidity variations keeps them fresher for longer. And two is because I just don't have the space in the house I'm living in at the moment. And even if I did have space, I'd probably fill that space up with books or my enormous collection of studded dildos. At the same time, I thought I'd try and test out the time-lapse features of the new DJI Osmo Pocket 3. That was for the algorithm. Okay, roll the clip. So here we are at the start of the day. I have my coffee and I'm starting out. Most of this footage is just going to be me firstly randomly putting these bottles on my dining table. But as it filled up, my OCD completely took over and I started to arrange them by height. And then when I realized that was failing, I started to group them by house instead, only to find out that I'd run out of space and the sun was going down and I would need to pack these back up again. And whilst I was watching the replay of this footage, I thought I'd write a nice script to go along with the video, something to do with my fragrance journey or some other corny shit like that. But then I got an overwhelming sense for me to be myself. And as I was replaying this footage, the first thing that came to my mind was, life is unfair. Like, hold on, what? I, I don't understand how you got from like a fragrance collection and life is unfair. Yes, my first reaction was that my fragrance collection is unfair. Fragrance is an unnecessary item. Therefore, it's a luxury good. And to those who would like one but can't afford one, it's unfair that not only do I have so many, not only do I talk about them like they're Tic Tacs, I also hang shit on them if they dare not live up to my ever-increasing expectations on the matter. And whilst that was my first reaction, it isn't my actual perspective on the matter. Because as with everything else, when I give things a bit more thought, I can respond instead of react. The response is as such. The false predication of fairness. The world isn't fair, and it's not supposed to be. I think if we were evolutionarily optimized for fairness, then we'd probably be extinct by now. Unfairness is a symptom of an inherent game of one-upmanship amongst many species, and it's this one-upmanship that keeps humanity in motion. As per the quote in the philosophy exercise book, Axioms and Digressions, now available on Amazon. The sooner the acceptance of an unfair world, the sooner it ceases to be one. So no, my fragrance collection is not unfair. It might be a folly. It might be an attempt to belong to a group. It might be a way to cling on to nostalgia like sticky pieces of shit on anal hair. But it certainly is not unfair. What is unfair is that image which is now permanently in your head. Please, do subscribe.